Well, there's been a lot of little puppy treats being passed around this morning. We have another dog in the studio. Webster is joined by his master, Dale Verstegen. Dale is with Walking Mountains. And Dale, normally we're talking about nature and why leaves change color and different things like this. But we thought since it's pet week, we'd bring in your very own dog and yep. talk about why keeping your dogs on a leash. You know, we coexist with the wildlife that's in our area. Exactly. And I can keep both safe. Yeah. So we're, we're obviously going out and hiking around. Everyone in this area loves to get out on the trails. Yep. And a lot of us love to see our dog running around off leash and having fun. Well, and you wear them out as yeah, well. which is great. Um, and it is appropriate to do that at times. But especially at this time of year with hunting, it's great to keep them on the leash and do a few other things to keep them safe. And okay. one of them is to put some blaze orange on them. Yeah. Because unfortunately, like Webster here is a big guy. And some people may mistake this guy for a coyote at times. So, oh, really? Yeah. So unfortunately, there have been reported incidents, not necessarily here in Colorado, but definitely in the U.S., of hunters mistaking somebody's domesticated dog for some form of wildlife. Yeah. So we need to look after them. And the easiest way to do that is blaze orange and with this leash. Okay. With the leash. And other things you can start doing is some basic training. Obviously, we all want our dog to come back to us when we say come. Yeah. But another great one is to tell them or teach them self-control. And so that's to make sure that if they are going at something, you can tell them to stop. Okay. And then they'll follow other commands. Okay. And so Webster's still young. We're still working on these things ourselves because it's continual repetition. And you can see here it's distracted by a lot of smells. Yeah. But if you start doing things at home and slowly build up distractions, you're going to have a much better response when you go out. And it's really important to do. Well, the Humane Society was just talking about that, um, that bond that's created with the owner and the pet with mm -hmm. just... Um, you know, the, the commands, and, and yep. they need help. They need to know yep. what to do. Oh, and look at And you can at. see he's relaxing now. Oh, he's <laughs> relaxing now. <laughs> yep. All right. Then Webster was a dog in training. It's sort of like um, Jerry, yes. who came on, a CCI dog. Believe it. Yeah, Webster's got an interesting story. Uh, he was actually brought out here from Michigan um, because he was in training to be a seeing eye dog. Okay. Um, but obviously some dogs don't have the personality. Webster, yeah. touch, <laughs> sit. And see, so he's, he's agitated on here, down. And we'll see if you can actually have some self-control now. Okay. Leave it. Oh, doggy treats Leave on the paws. It. Oh. So this is something that you can do at home to try and teach him self-control. Like, obviously, he wants them, but yep. he's waiting. And so this can be good because occasionally if he's running after a deer or something, and we'll see if he'll actually do it now. Just one. Okay. okay. So he's listened. He's already stopped. So he's starting to learn that... If he waits for my command, he can go and do the fun things and get what he wants, but he's going to be protected. Okay, yeah. the other one. And so it's right. important to do that. Good because job. if there's a deer running away or something and your dog starts chasing after it, come may not always work. Yeah. So teaching stop. Another way you can teach it is a tug toy. Okay. So Bring that out on the trail with you? Yeah. So we won't do it here, but normally we will get into a good game of tug. Yeah. And then after a while, he will get told stop. Yeah. And at that point, he's to stop drop it and sit down okay. and then after a while he gets to go back in and play okay and then you also brought in all of his leash. little identification yep so obviously to keep your animal safe as well it's great to have all the correct identification so there's his old tag from leader dogs okay and then so leader dogs was the training that he yep. went through amazing nonprofit. we had the humane society in today that was showing that there's dog adoptions and things out there uh leader dogs raises seeing eye dogs and the great thing is seeing our dogs work a long career and then they get retired. So another way that you can adopt dogs is to, reti uh, is to adopt one of these retired animals. Yeah. Uh, obviously Webster wasn't retired. He didn't quite make it. <laughs> yeah. he's, my, he's my college dropout. He's a little dropout. Okay. And then also keep your Eagle County registration tag on. Yep. Name with a phone number. Yep. Because if they do get away from you, they need to be able to come back. Yeah. And then also anything on their vaccinations. Okay. And the last thing is Webster and I are occasionally out walking at night. We need to keep him and I safe, yeah. and so we have a nice bright red light to go around his neck. Okay, yep. a little Rudolph for uh -huh. you. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much, Dale and Welcome. Webster, for coming on today. Pet Week, it continues uh -huh. on TV8. We'll be back.